Today I will be first meeting with my congressional representative. Um, I haven't done this before, so it's really exciting to get to meet. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to meet him himself, like himself, but I will be able to meet one of his staff members. So I'm excited to just see what that's like. I'm interested in uh, being involved in uh, like working for the government, possibly, but just to see how it is really from um, the politics point of view. Today I'm just you know visiting with like, three senators. So um, in between that, we're going to be looking at the mall, going to the botanical gardens, and a tour of the Capitol. I'm not really sure what laws Alabama has in place right now about the environment, and. As far as I know, there's not a lot, so I'm hoping to get a better understanding as to what their plan is. You know, the oil spill just happened a few years ago. I'm hoping to learn a little bit more about what we have planned for that and how we're going to prevent something else like that from happening. I'm going to meet with Senator Vitter, and I'm hoping to just learn, you know, what it's like to be a senator and some of the environmental bills they've been voting on lately and what's been going through Congress. I think I'll discuss stuff about the Mississippi River Delta. The being eroded because there aren't any more sediments being dumped on it, and yeah, and all the the fertilizer that's causing algae blooms inside, well, where the Mississippi reaches the Gulf of Mexico, and creating a dead zone there. These visits are tying into the environment because we're learning about like the politics part of it, and we're learning about some history behind some of the environmental factors that go into the environment. It's Capitol Hill, so it's the big whooper, you know, like, um, it's really exciting. So you see, like, just how much we have to do and how, um, even though it's kind of broad, like, big and scary, it's possible. And it's something that needs, you know, like, the problems that we have with the environment is something we need to face, even if they may seem cliche or too big, too risky, um, too hard. It's um, that's how we, you know that's how America started. It was it was too big, too hard, too risky just to come over here, but we did it, and I'm sure we can overcome these problems in the future. The underlying message, other than policy, is the power of people, getting people you need know, to bond people together to make any sort of change in the country. 